Howdy folks. For me this is a uh, Saturday morning and the day shaver is going to be a single edge gem. It is gold in color. As you can tell there's a push button to flip the top like that. Got a treat blade in there and this will be a first time for this particular razor. You see there's plastic that's going around the handle there, with the exception of right there. It's tapered off right here. It's got the typical G bar handle on there. Gold color. Pretty sure it's going to shave just fine. Soap of the day is going to be Vanille Soap of the Gods Reggae Rumbleberry. This uh, Rumbleberry, um, got soap everywhere today. Um, that's what it looks like. You can tell I've already been in it. And it's a very soft soap. And uh, you smell the berry, but I don't I wouldn't say that it's light, but it's festive, but it's not it doesn't have the uh, it's a little bit of the sweet smell to it, scent, but not quite like a citrus scent, in other words. It's more of a festive scent in my opinion, per my nose. And it seems to be working out alright this morning. And of course, I got the matching aftershave. Got my trusty Allen block, complete with rubber band, and still using Humphreys Witch Hazel. I've already put hot towel to the face, bloom water, and uh, <laughs> got enough whisker growth there that it, it started to lather up when I uh, put the bloom water on there. The bowl that I whip this up in is what I've been using here lately. It's a black one. It's kind of small as you can tell there. It's got ridges in it. Uh, the brush of the day is going to be via long horsehair. I think the knot might be a 19 millimeter. It's not real big. Works real well in a, a bowl of this size, a small bowl. Uh, for me, the uh, I find that the uh, smaller knots uh, To me, just seem to uh, I have no problems getting it to lather up, and no more area that I have to cover. Uh, my experience has been the smaller knots work better for me, even though I do like the bigger knots. They're pretty cool. I don't. I know some people say that horse hair brushes are pokey. Um, I don't find that this one is pokey. The hair, this one here, the hair has come from the, uh, I don't, I can't remember what the percent is from the mane and the tail. This is really creamy, smooth soap. If you've never tried Vanille soap, this is really nice. Doesn't take very long for it to lather up either. Oh, that's another nice thing about having a small bowl like that. Uh, the tink, tink, tink doesn't happen. Because <laughs> it's shallow enough that it, where it doesn't happen. We'll go ahead and get started with the uh, first pass. Oh, and also I had it over here in my uh, warm mug of uh, water. To me, a warm blade on the face just seems to work better. And I do have my towel here in front of me. Keep my hands dry. I was going to, um, I have some uh, single edge blades from Dorco. I had ordered them and when you get them, they have, uh, they say paste on the front. Which is, you know, what I expected. And of course, I think maybe I'll try them next week. This being a holiday weekend, I didn't know if I wanted to risk it or not.
next week I'll uh, I'll show you the package uh, front and back. Guess you might say my concerns. It doesn't uh, do you well when you read on the back of the package, and it says that you know you can use it for shaving, and then there's other uses not for shaving. Which you, I'm sure you could use a razor that you shave with a blade. I just uh, doesn't build your confidence that you're going to get a smooth, comfortable shave when you're using it for like a box cutter. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> box cutter and shaving bl uh, razor blade that <laughs> just doesn't mix on the package <laughs> I decided nah <laughs> I'll wait a week <laughs> all right I that was that first pass you do get some feedback with this razor in my opinion uh, and, and I do I attribute some of my smooth shapes with the uh, single edge uh, blades uh, to a good prep, your pre-shave. And I think I've got my pre-shave down pretty good. What works well for me with various types of razors. And if uh, you're... This one here, that was a that first pass was pretty smooth. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you find that you're some of your single edge shaves are a little rough or whatever maybe uh, adjusting the pre-shave routine might be in order using the bloom water as a pre-shave helps me and not just put it on your face but work it into your face in other words as if you're trying to lather with your hand to me I, I've noticed a difference on how my shave goes Might even opt to be using a pre-shave oil to help one of these uh, kind of shaves. Just depends where you're at. Been shaved. Wet started wet shaving in what April 2015. So went over 15 years with full beard. So by now my face is used to a blade. But when I first started, it was not used to a blade at all. So some of those uh, razors I was using in blade combinations have changed quite a bit since then. Not only has my technique got better, my pre-shave routine is better, but now that my face is used to having a blade on it, some of those uh, razor and blade combinations that I was using uh, that I thought was aggressive, I don't have the same look on, outlook on it now. So... You could look at it like this. My um, when I started wet shaving, I was more or less like a new person with a new face, a face that hadn't seen a blade in quite a while. So it it took a while for it to get adjusted to it. So when it comes to um, I guess you might say sensitive skin. Uh, I just have areas that uh, <laughs> areas that don't like to be shaved. Um, in other words, very many passes, and my neck is one of them. That pass right there. would always give me a problem in years gone by when I, when I was in the army and I had to shave every day. Oh, that pass was painful. Now it's not a problem. That hair right through there, just it, I have a spiral right down there. <laughs> It does have a tendency. 
it used to have a tendency to give me a give me fits when I was shaving with a cartridge razor. And really, looking back on how I shave now, my pre-shave routine and even my post-shave, uh, post-shave is just as important because if you're having like then, it's having a rough shave. I had no idea how to help my face repair itself, help you know further the repair process along. I had no idea. I had some really bad shaves back then. I do mean really bad. When you're having to shave every day and your your face is already good and pissed off at you, that right there would just be full of weepers, bleeding, stinging. And then you got to go back and shave the next day. Not a whole lot of fun. I can smell it as I lather. This is... Like I say, it's a festive scent. It's not really, it's... You smell the berry, and it smells like berry, but it's not a sweet, like a citrus scent. So in other words, if you're concerned about, you know, the soap is no different than a citrus, I, I'd have to say it is different. I like it. Especially for a Saturday. Depending on what kind of plans you have for the day, like some days, in other words, Saturdays mowing the lawn, you know. <laughs> Don't know how festive you want to be about mowing the lawn. For me, it's a, a more of the fact that my nose does not like mowing the grass. Right there is where I got, on both sides, I've got hair that grows both ways, so I get a lot of feedback right through there on that pass. I'm quite sure you could probably stretch your blades, these single edge. This one here being a treat, you can stretch these uh, out to far more shaves than what I do. Typically, I just... Uh, after the second shave, that's good enough for me. That's, um, I don't try to push it anymore. In other words, uh, early on, I've already tested out, see how many shaves I can get with it. And, uh, with these blades, uh, two is enough. Because they're setting for two weeks, in other words, first, well, be a week actually, but... This one here is on its first use. Since next week I'll be using the uh, Dorco slash Pace, it'll be, in other words, it'll set a moment. So I'll put some oil on it to make sure it doesn't try to go south on me. I have considered, and I might start doing it here pretty soon when I'm shaving with a uh, single edge or a double edge safety razor, thinking about because uh, I can go across the grain each direction, and I can still you still get some feedback. In other words, there's you can still pick up some more whiskers by switching my uh, routine up. Check it out, see how it works for me. Uh, Instead of doing uh, with the grain pass up here to do two cross grains. This area here sometimes can be tough to get. These razors are pretty inexpensive if you wanted to test it out, experiment with it a little bit. Right there. Like I said, that spiral is not the easiest place to get all of it if you're trying to get close. Um, I picked this one up on, on Etsy. Paid $8 for it. 
eight dollars. That's pretty inexpensive. Now I have gotten some uh, razor blades at CVS, and at that point in time, when I got them, uh, the plastic container mentioned that it was uh, American Safety Razor. So now you're getting some halfway decent blades. They seem to work all right for me. I have not bought any from them in a while, so I don't know if uh, they're still got the same razor maker or if they've uh, switched up or not. It wouldn't surprise me with uh, Dorco making inroads into various private label markets that uh, Dorco's not the one making the blades nowadays for them. I have to need to check next time I go in there. I am getting older, so I do, <laughs> I do make frequent visits to the <laughs> pharmacy for me and the family. Boy, that's pretty good when you still smell it right out, off what little bit of leathers left on the hand. I like it. We're going to see what the Allen Block has to say. It is getting smaller. I didn't think that it would ever get smaller. This block has gotten quite a bit smaller. You can tell when you put it in there compared to how it used to fit in there. So far on this side over here, no stinging whatsoever. For me, I get really smooth shades with these single edge gems. I enjoy shaving with them. I had just a little bit right about here. Really smooth shave. Can't complain. I mean, this is good. Shaves like this every day. If I'd got these when I first started out, probably never would have grown a beard. <laughs> Gonna follow up with some witch hazel. I mean, this is a this was a really smooth shave. Considering how inexpensive these uh, gym shavers are. Like I said, you could probably, if you want to spend the time experimenting with uh, with the blade, with the razor blade, figure out how many, how many shaves you can get with it, if you need to strop it, whatever the case might be. In other words, be a nice daily shaver. Blades aren't that expensive anyway. The way I've been buying mine, I get 10 to to a pack and pay about $5.00. For 10 blades that's not too terribly bad especially when you compare it to a cartridge it's still pretty inexpensive she makes good stuff I like her stuff I got hordes of it now the aftershave coming out of the container I smell more of the uh, more the berry. It smells good. Going to be out and about today. Going out of town to some of the smaller towns surrounding here. And uh, I guess you might say antiquing. See what I can find in the wild today got plans to go with uh, my parents hopefully I find something sometimes I don't find a thing sometimes I strike gold we'll see how it goes today really smooth shade today so once again my single edge gem push button I'll show you what my treat blade looks like and it's seems to be typical but that's what the blade already starts to look like when I'm uh, done shaving there that discoloration I don't know maybe I'm just picking at nothing but it kind of bugs me wouldn't think it should be like that so I'm not real sure about the coating or anything like that but I put some oil on it some beard oil oh speaking of the beard oil ah here it is off camera this is what I'll be using from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. The scent on this one here, uh, turn it where you can see it. 
really like this scent. I got two bottles. And I have used a little bit of it. I've had a really good shave today. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe. Till next time, smooth shaves to you.